I know it seems that Marvel Studios is pushing for Peter to be the next Iron Man in the franchise. But something about the end of Avengers Endgame kind of gave me an impression of... This theory is going to be wrong. What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. Okay, so... <laughs> I mean, this is spoiler-filled. If you haven't seen Avengers Endgame, you don't give a shit! We all know that Tony Stark sacrificed his life to save everyone by snapping his fingers with the uh, all the Infinity Stones. And, of course, that took his life. And uh, it was sad. It definitely was sad. And uh, a lot of people, uh, oof, I mean, that for that opening night, man, there was a lot of... <laughs> I teared up, too. Not gonna lie. I did. Because, eh, you know, it's a great character. I mean, Iron, the first Iron Man's one of my... One of my, you know, at least it's in the top ten of my all-time favorites. I don't know of CBMs, but uh, yeah. And now that uh, we're gonna get the first movie after Endgame, which is Spider-Man: Far From Home, and it seems like with that trailer, they're really pushing. I mean, they flat out say it: the world needs a new Iron Man, Peter. A lot of people don't like that. I was kind of like, man, we need a Spider-Man. We don't need another Iron Man. But then it went. Are they kind of like throwing it off a little bit because there was something? at the end of Avengers Endgame, that kind of made me go, oh, wait a minute, did they just quietly introduce somebody? And I'm not talking about Pepper, because, you know, obviously we saw Pepper in her iron suit. And I'm not talking about their daughter, Morgan, either. That was her name, right? <laughs> I guess I should have double-checked that, but I'm pretty sure that, that's it. I'm not talking about her either, because, well, she's only five, first off. No, I'm not talking about either one of them. I'm talking about someone that was introduced six years ago? Maybe they were already establishing it six years ago? That's right. I'm talking about Harley Keener. Watching that shot, going through all the Avengers, everybody pretty much in the MCU just kind of panning through as they're, uh, you know, teary-eyed and uh, um, giving their condolences to uh, Tony for, you know, dying and stuff like that. There was this one random kid that I went, who the fuck is that? A lot of people said that. Even, like, people I would talk, I would talk to in real life, they're like, yeah, who the fuck, who was that? And then, you know, I saw on my timeline or something like that, yeah, it was Harley Keener, the kid from Iron Man 3. Seemed a little bit odd that he was there, but at the same time I'm going, well, they had a nice little relationship, nice little back and forth. I actually liked, that was actually the, what I liked a lot about Iron Man 3 was the banter back and forth between Tony and Harley. And uh, yeah, I mean, look, I'm going to start playing what happened at the end of Iron Man 3. I mean, he was a little tinkerer. He was. He came, he had like the potato gun and or there whatever the heck you know and he was like a little tinker and Tony left him a bunch of goodies for him to mess with and it was like, huh? Just something I thought about. I thought, did they just quietly just introduce that because it just why would they put him in the funeral scene? It just seemed like they were like, hey, come back. I mean, and and uh, the actor his name is Ty Simpkins. I mean, he was kind of just showing up. He was in First Jurassic World. He was in Insidious. He even had a brief little uh, moment in uh, The Nice Guys. And I was like, okay, this kid is going to be the new. And then all of a sudden he just kind of disappeared. And, you know, now that we saw him again, nobody fucking recognized him. It's just a theory, guys. It's most likely wrong because, well, we're in 2019. And if the next Iron Man is another white dude, well, <laughs> oh, there's going to be fits that are going to be thrown. Especially because, you know, These comic books didn't sell well, but they're going to throw this out there. There you have it, guys. Yep, yeah, just a theory. It's just something I've just, just been thinking about since uh, I figured out who that kid was. So there we go. Let me know your thoughts about it down below. What do you think about that? I, I just, he's a little tinkerer, and I liked, he had, you know, he he went back and forth with Tony Stark. You know, he's got the wit. Maybe he doesn't now. Who knows? Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts about it down below. Hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel. Visit filmjunkie.com for uh, all my content, and then of course uh, follow me on all that social media stuff right there, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon if you want to help out, and then I got shirts down below, guys. All right, 